So make sure those answers are correct. Cool. All right, let's do page seven. There is one new thing I gotta teach you today. It looks very similar to what we did yesterday, uh, but there's one additional thing I gotta teach you. So let's focus, focus, focus. Let's not be in our iPads. Can I re-upload this? Not right now. Not right now. All right. So, let's read. <sighs> Thank you. Appreciate that, Juliana. I need 60 apples to bake 10 pies. How many apples do I need per pie? X. So, it says per pie. How many pies is that? X. One. One pie. So, that means... One pie, so that therefore pies will be your x or y? X. x, very good. So, whatever you're finding one of, that goes here in your x, and that goes here on your x. So, you can immediately do that. So, that's why since last week I've been telling you, What are you finding one of? What are you finding one of? What are you finding one of? Because it answers so many questions. Okay, what's the other thing we're talking about? Money. No. Apples. apples. So this is now apples. So your Y is apple. So you can, the easiest way to do this is like find your numbers. What does 60 mean? Oh, 60 means apples. What does 10 mean? Oh, 10 means pies. So we're talking about apples and pies. Apple pie. Good. All right. So. So. Pies is your X, right? Yeah. So that means pies goes outside. Which number represents pies? Ten. 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 So that goes outside. So it's basically six. Yeah. Oh, oh what the heck, dude? So unit rate is six. Now, what does a six mean? Six pies or six apples? Apples. Six apples, write this down, per pie. Six apples per pie. So that means that Y again is your apples. So I'm gonna label everything. So do we put it up by six so you count by six? Yes. Let's so whatever your unit rate is, that's what you're counting by. So six. Yeah, so, but zero pies, how many apples do I need for zero pies? Zero. How many do I need for one pie? Six. 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 Two pies? Twelve. Keep going, be careful at the bottom. All right, <laughs> so question. Juan, what'd you put next to 10? Next to 10, I put 60. Good. Next to 15, Aiden? 90. 90. Next to 20? 120? Yep. So, how do we get these? All we have to do is take these numbers and multiply them by 6. You can also see if there's relationships. Like, how do I go from 10 to 20? Um, Times. 60 plus 60. Yeah. So you can also build relationships. You can also do a 15 by adding 10 and five, whatever you got, five. Five is 30, so what's 30 plus 60? 90, because five plus 10 is 15. You can also do that, or you can just multiply by six. All right, so let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do I go up by on my wife? Uh, six. six. If you're creating it, you do it with your numbers. If someone else creates it, they might go up by once, which, boo. Question? Okay. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. 42? Yep. 6 times 7? Oh, yeah. Oh. You're, no. Do I just follow this? No, because right here, we jump, right? So because we jumped here, no we, yeah, we have to do it over here with our real multiplication facts. Oh, no, you, you, here, you have to go, you have to count normal, like, by sixes. Over here, we skip, right? So it, we skipped here. You don't skip here. You go 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, and so on. Does that make sense? I'm copying the multiplication table of six. Oh, you just... I literally just... Well, only, only part, just right, because here, you see how I, I skip seven? Yeah. I don't skip seven here. Oh. So here, I'm just literally copying down my multiplication table. Here, because I skipped. Yes. All right. 
Uh, graph it. What's our first dot? Uh, zero. Oh, yeah. Zero, zero. Our oh, first dot is zero, zero. Oh, our second dot is one thing. Don't forget zero, zero. Zero, zero. It's not important. It is, actually. The seventh grade is very important. Isn't it going to be straight again? I hope so. <laughs> We're hoping that if it's not uh, zero, zero, we have. Let's go top, back in the menu. Okay. I'm the lady. Should we do the same thing as we did yesterday for the first question? Yeah, so the first question says, what does the point one comma? Three. No. What? One point, I mean one comma two. Yes, one comma. Six. One comma six. Ask questions. You can ask your neighbor. You can ask me. Why are you asking? But if your neighbor tells you something weird like 40.5, don't. Don't fall for it. <coughs> yeah, run over. No, that one is a number. One comma what? Mm -hmm. When I even both blank. That's what you mean. Oh, one like, no. no. Are we so oh. Cash. One pie has uh. apples. Is that? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> We're not talking about money. Yes. Oh. Why does that know what unit rate is? No, I know. I'm just asking why. Okay. Okay. Unit rate is when you find one of something. So here we're finding one pie has six apples. This is your unit rate. This dot is your unit rate. And this point is your unit rate. You have to be able to identify the unit rate in one, two, three, four, five different locations. means one pie needs six apples. Wait, it says how many apples do I need to get six pies? So well, putting on all I did was I took how many apples you need for ten and multiplied it by five. Oh, yeah. Um, how many apples do I need to, to bake six pies? Uh, like... <laughs> zero pies Wait. need zero how many apples? apples. <coughs> so how many apples do I need to bake six pies? Okay. Yeah, because this means pies, right? This line means pies. So I go to six, right? Because it says six pies. And what's the number here? 36 oh. because it says six pies all of these numbers mean pies right all of these numbers mean pie so I go to six pies so 36. you need 36 what apples. apples to make six pies the reason we write a sentence is so that you know what you're talking about you realize like oh you're talking about apples and pies you're not talking about dogs and cats yeah, that's fine. That's a better word, actually. Even though you're taking a math test, you're going to be doing some writing. Okay? Yes. I need to bake 50 pies. How many apples do I need? 300 apples. So, what did you guys do to 50? Yes, or we can just multiply by. No. How many apples? Yeah. So. Yep. So we're gonna make. So it's pies, right? So I know that for each pie, I need six apples. So I'm just gonna multiply fifty times six, and fifty times six is three hundred apples. Because you know one pie is six, so 50 times six is 300. I thought 60 times five. Is it 60 times five?
Okay. I only have five apples. How many pies can I make? How much? How many apples do you need for one pie? Yeah, you need six apples. I only have five. Can I make an apple pie? No. no. Substitute. Zero pies, or cannot make a pie. Hey, we finished one page, I guess. We barely have. It says one of many. Why does it have a big seven at the bottom? <laughs> That's the page That's number. Alright, let's do the school buses. Or school books. Yes. This one is basically the same one. Oh my god. This whole word, this whole package. Don't look, don't look. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I already went to the board. Don't look, don't look. I switched the whole thing. I feel like you're tired. It's, it's not. You've already, except for two things, you've already learned most of it. I just haven't touched two things. Alright. Okay. The school, the school has 90 books for 15 students. How many books does each student receive? Okay, so what are we finding one of? Student books. receive books. How many books does each student receive? What are we finding one of? Students. Books. Books. Okay. Use your English skills. All right, all right. Which one's plural, meaning more than one, and which student. one's singular? Student. 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 Each student. student. So how many is each student? One. Student. Okay, what does the S on books mean? Like plural. Like, like more. Yeah, so can I have one book? Am I asking for one book? No, you're asking for many. Many. First so many. I am not asking for one book. So for those of you who are shouting out one book, you got to really use your English skills and be like, wait, the S is on books. No bueno. So, each one student. So, that means that X is your student. student. Label that now. What is Y? Books. It's extremely important that you recognize what you're finding one of. If you flip it, everything is wrong. So which number is my students? 15. On the first sentence, students, what number is 15? So that number outside. goes outside. What number goes inside? 90. 90. 90. Oh. What's 90? Is it this one? Hmm? Is it this one? Is it? Is it 6 15. again? Yeah. 15. Capping. 15 times 15 is 90? No. I don't yeah, think no, so. So it's 6 again? <laughs> Boo. So the unit rate is six, but what does a six represent? Students. Books. 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 Who even says students? Six books yes. per student. Six books per student. Six books per student. Yeah. Um, except, ooh, I jump really quickly. I jump really quick. I took out the zero and did it and then added the zero at the end. I jumped really quickly. What's third times six? 180. Yeah, that's 180. All right. So, zero, six, 12, 18, then we skip. How do I fill in the rest? I just have to multiply by 6. But here, because it jumps, you can't just go plus 6, plus 6, plus 6, plus... You'll be there forever. Can you imagine going all the way up to 120 plus 6 plus 6? Oh. <sighs> That's like the rest of time when you have class. Exactly. And more.
Your unit rate is so important because you can use it to multiply. You can use it to identify so many things. All right. What is my X? My X is students. So make sure you label this students. What's my Y? My Y is books. So label that. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 6, 12, 18, 24. Graph the ones that you can. You're obviously not going to graph 120, right? You only graph what you can, and you realize that, oh, it will be in a straight line. Oh, something I forgot to tell you guys yesterday is um, when you draw your, when you connect your dots, they should be in a straight line and you should always add an arrow at the end because, because this line doesn't end here. It ends because our graph paper is small, but this will continue forever. I mean, it's gonna go all the way to 120, right? How many books does a school have? Thousands of books, but our graph is so small, but that doesn't mean our math stops. It's just because our graph. So this arrow means that it goes forever and ever. And I know I did not have you guys connect yesterday, but you technically should be connecting, technically with the ruler, and technically it should be a straight line. Technically. Technically. Okay, what does the point one comma six mean in the context of the problem? What does the unit rate mean in the context of the problem? Okay, go ahead and answer question one, two, three, four. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. So to answer these questions, you look at your table. Your table has all the answers, right? 120, this, remember, your first one's your X, and this is your Y, so 120. 720? Yeah. 720, okay. Yeah, how many books are needed? Uh, yes, 120 books, yes. No, because you guys get a, a slightly different lesson than my other classes. I post yours and link it to your canvas, and I post theirs and link it to their canvas. Yeah, different canvas. I give this man an eraser. Wait, wait, I think I have one. You have an eraser. Doesn't thank you. Doesn't thank you. Are we okay? I'm burning. Okay. I'll teach you how to do an equation tomorrow. We're done for the day for this. Yeah.